after 11 is the time. What will probably be the last word on this is going to come from Frida, who is in Manchester. Frida, what would you like to say? Um, Aya, thanks for taking my call. You're very welcome. Um, well, I've, I've been in the mire of this debate for quite some time. I've been on a guest on various TV shows. and ra- I was on Nick Ferrari's show and not long ago. And what I've noticed is there are certain people being censored in this debate. Now, I don't want to mention too many names, but it, it keeps being like a distraction technique. So we keep talking about J.K. Rowling yes. and we keep talking about these people. And what it does is it stops people talking about the real issue. So when something like this happens, when the cast review comes out, mm. it's all focused through a lens of uh, transphobia. I will use that word. Now, personally... Well, it I hasn't been be today. The... <laughs> J.K. Rowling popped up once or twice for reasons, but the conversation we've been having since 10 o'clock this morning has been uh, incredibly illuminating. And oh, no, no, nobody's, been nobody's been but silenced. Nobody's been silenced. This is what I'm saying. This is the first time... I've heard so many parents of trans people, trans oh, okay. people speaking, because it's very rare. Because mm. I, I, the only reason I've got into the media is by ringing up producers and saying, you got this wrong here, can you please... And, and that's, I'm not a media, I'm not a journalist. I'm, I write a blog, that's what I do. Okay. And I just collect, I collect information. So, so, it, so it's so frustrating to hear the word trans constantly and hear your life being talked about. I mean, I, I, I work as a volunteer with the LGB fa- BT Foundation in Manchester, and I right. just see a lot of traumatised young people. Yes. Let me ask you then, what, what, where do you think what Hilary Cass describes as toxicity comes from? I think it's a, I think it's a very divisive issue, and I rest, I'm very rest, reticent to say both sides, but yeah. there are a both sides. Yes. But I, we, I don't. I think it's created by. Um, a very right-wing media, to put it mildly, the Daily Mail, the Telegraph, uh, they, they seem to be captured by lobbyists. And, and I'll, I'll, I'm sure you've heard of the Policy Exchange. I'm sure you've heard of um, the IEA. And they release, <laughs> documents to, they release documents to the government. Well, I know the Policy Trans- Exchange has. I didn't know IEA had. So, so there, there is, But that is, uh, you know, these secretly funded... Uh, so-called mm. think tanks that, that yeah. gravitate around Tufton Street are always trying to b- 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 manipulate the b- political discourse yeah. in favour of whoever it is that secretly funds them and, and distraction from, for example, wealth inequality and, and, and wealth distribution yeah. has been in their, been in their um, uh, arsenal since Andrew Neil first invited one of their godfathers to write for the Sunday Times 150 years ago. So I, 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 I kind of get that side of it. I, so I, I, briefly, if you would, what 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 are you feeling today, having had the chance to hear or look at some of what Hillary Cass has concluded? Well, I'm just in the process of writing some bullet points okay. about it, and I think I think what a lot of people are misconstruing this as a as sort of an expose of some kind of abuses that have been going on against children. At yes, a, it's not a, that, is it? It's, you can't no, really it, read it, the it, words it, she's it, written and arrive at that what, conclusion. <laughs> what the conclusion I've come to is quite a dense document, so yes, it is. I wouldn't claim to have read it all, but what, I, what comes out of it is the NHS is failing, and this is the tip of a very big mental health iceberg. Yes. And unfortunately, trans people, trans children, get processed through a mental health pathway. So I have a friend, well, I had a friend who took her own life while she was waiting on a pathway. Now, I, there's a lot of complex reasons why somebody might take their own life. I accept that. It's yes. not just one doctor's decision. It's not just one service. But the fact that she was on a mental health pathway when she could have just been supported by a local group or a, a counsellor, well, it would still, I see what you mean. So it would still be a mental health pathway, but it would be somehow bespoke and tailored towards yeah. transgender yeah. or gender what, confusion what? rather than being lumped in with all other yeah. mm. mental what health te- treatments. Go on. What I'm, tell- what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but what I'm saying is <laughs> the NHS is failing and this is a tip of a very big iceberg. And everyone agrees I, I, on that. It's, it's, it's a bizarre one, isn't it? So the, the, I'm, I'm just cracking on only because I, I want to squeeze. 